Hello, 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 and welcome to the second episode of Millennial and Money. I am your host, Blessing Kamba, and I'm very excited. Today's topic will be nothing short of interesting. And of course, I'm not here alone because, you know, I don't want to just be bantering up and down with myself, even though I can't, because I'm that good. But I'm here with three amazing, amazing, intelligent people, and they'll be here to break this topic down with me. Now, today's topic is investments or savings. Which do you prefer? I know, I mean, it's almost like mm, they are both the same family member, right? But I mean, I feel like we got introduced to savings differently from when we got introduced to investment. And we just want to break it down, share our experiences, and also see how we can learn and be better. And they're privy to that information. So before further ado, I'll just ask you all to introduce yourself. Tell us your name, tell us what you do, and then I'll ask you a random question just to break the ice. So right. let me start from my amazing guest here. Hi everyone, my name is Titi. I am a customer service representative and I am also an entrepreneur. Hey guys, I'm Fresh Uka by name, and I'm a software developer. Okay, hi Al. Uh, my name is Adia Ajiri. I'm a customer service representative and also an entrepreneur. That's it. So I want to ask, Gary and Water, which one do you put first? In the cup or in the bowl? And why? I put Gary first. I put Gary first. I put Gary first. Why? Uh, okay, for me, I feel when you put the Gary, you then know the level of water to add. But when you put much water, yeah. you would... Want to now, you'll be forced to follow the water, balance the water, or you pour out. So I think the guy comes in first, then you can weigh what you can eat. So you see, okay, this is enough for me, then you know the water to add. I agree with her. Bring me now. Now, let me put it to you. That the people just, the, all of you, the same thing. I put, I put, I put my guy first. Excuse you. First of all, I think you should put your water first. Me, I put my water first, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, when you put the water, you understand my point, then you will know the amount of gari you can take. And I'll tell you, gari swells. So sometimes when you put gari, you don't know how much that gari is going to swell to. Do you understand? Yeah. So when you put the when you put the water and you put the gari small and it starts to swell, you can stop yourself. And if it is not you add again, and stop yourself. No, That's what I, I do. Agree. Oh yeah, That's why? You make your gari. Okay, tell me why now. How? Well, I really do not make Gary, but <laughs> <laughs> the way I make Gary when I want to make Gary. Yeah. Gary first, I can tell that this is okay. Exactly. It's still in a dry form. So but I you know Gary it swells. It swells. And each That's Gary has its character. Know. So do you know if you are using the swelling as the judge as a Factor that means point put the water and your point Gary. It will just it will still keep you can't. Hey, but not if you just dump everything, you are supposed to use scientific reasoning yeah. <laughs> to, yeah. to yeah. measure. Yeah. 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 And when you put the water that. first and the Gary and you put small, you cannot stay it and then sieve the top. I know everybody needs to see the you top of your head. So that's why the first one, after putting the Gary, right. you put the water. Anyways, now that we have broken the ice, I mean, let's go back to savings and investing. How do you save? Do you take Gary to save money? <laughs> You're like, you know what? I would love to eat rice and chicken today. But Gary is cheap. But that's just me joking. But but let's just be honest. I mean, what, what are some of the sacrifices you make to enable you save? Because I mean, we're in trying times in this country. <laughs> Every day is a trying time. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, how do you what are the little things you do that help you save? I'll start with you, Titi. Since you are the entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me see. Okay, let me start about. Okay, yes, I am an entrepreneur. I do. It. I sell shoes. I sell bags. Most, mostly women outfit. Um, women um footwears. Women um, yeah, bags for women as, as well. So um, things of savings. You know, whenever I make sales. I do not just rush and spend the money. Oh, that oh, I've got my profits. It's time for me to spend this money. I have to sit down, think about oh, this money has to go back into the business. I need to restock. 
and then aside is restocking you know you push something aside you put some um funds aside for it to save most time, uh, most times uh, investment once in a while but mostly i choose to um save, save. okay praise so praise tell us i mean what are some of the sacrifices you make or the little things you do to help you save yeah so like i said Saving, I, I don't really see saving as well. Yeah, saving is great actually, mm -hmm. but saving is not just enough. You just you more like you be your way of life and everything will be caps. So you, and eventually that money will still burn out if you are just fully saving. So like I would like if I have hundred k, so me saying okay I'll save this hundred k. I'll make sure this hundred k lasts for me till the end of this year. So I'll be maybe taking I won't I'll be I won't go out I won't. The food and so sweet, I will I leave it and everything. I don't like so like so I prefer taking like 50k out of the money. Prefer 50k invest in something good and the many 50k, I'll live well with it, like well not cut, but not like I will lavish it, but at least I would yeah. So you don't play with your quality of life? I try my best not to. That's very right. good. Yeah. Alright, AJ. Okay. Tell us what do you do? Well, Wait, do you save? Yes, I do. I do. Well. I save well. Well, oh. there are times when things will trigger you to touch that savings, but I do save. So whatever money I get, even if you dash me money, <laughs> there is a part for saving. Mm. So um, what I do, I bake. So though it's not every time, so it's not full time, but for that one, when I get money from what I do, I do not spend that money. So I put it back as an investment because things for cake, you need things every time. So now, let's say I make, let's say 8K from this thing. Instead of spending the money or keeping it that, oh, I've made 8K, I might use this money to go and buy maybe a turntable, something that I will be able to use again. Mm -hmm. I might use it to buy maybe a mold or something. So now this is me putting back my money into, into business. business so I can get more money too. Mm -hmm. Then for money end, I do not just save. So I share the money, like maybe half or more than half goes for saving. Then I keep, mm. most times I keep more than half for savings. Then whatever is left, I am restricted with that. So it's either I choose to spend it or still keep it and feel, Right now is not the time to spend it. Mm -hmm. Something might come up later. So I probably might want something and tell myself that you'll see this thing again. Probably you have the money for this one. So that's how I just do that's my That's discipline. Yeah. So I think, yeah, that is actually quite interesting. So when did you start saving? How young were you? Because I know from the sister very So how young were you and how was your experience saving? Okay. Like for me. I honestly always liked the idea of saving. I don't know why. From a very young age, I liked to save. And I remember saving with Kolo. I started with Kolo. I saved money. <laughs> but Kolo. And then I evolved to using the box one. That was it before I learned to save in different ways and just be more disciplined. Yeah. I think I'm more disciplined with my lifestyle than anything. Just try my best to not leave exactly. the yeah. my yeah. so, yeah. so it's not like I'm going to now. I mean, that was how creative I was, but at the end of the day, I, and one thing I'm proud of is I know how to manage myself. So just tell me about your, um, an experience you've had with saving. Uh, saving is actually very difficult for me. Mm. You know, you just want to live that baby girl life. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, you know, yeah. In, in my house, so they know me as minister for enjoyment. Yes. Are you serious? Yes. 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 You know, so, like I said, it's hard to see. Save. So even growing up, eh, it's more like ah, when they give me small money, I can buy sweets. But I try. I, I, I'm still trying to discipline myself okay. to to save more. Ah, it's not easy, but you know, I save for the future. Oh. Nonetheless, we still have the savings there, but it's really difficult. Yeah. One has to really discipline themselves to be able to save. Hey, Chris, tell us about some some of your savings. Well, when I was young, um. Yeah, I do save that, like, uh, they gave me money for food when I go to school. I have never saved 10 naira for me, 30 naira for me down. But then, maybe after saving for months and everything, my mom would just be like, I pray, I need your money, you want to do it. I said, Mom, this, this money I'm saving, I'll give you later, I'll give you later, I'll give you later. I'll just give her. 
after having the one guy, say, Mommy, after that one, say, ah, what the money that I mean, was confused and everything. And you, yeah. so, and I, you see, there's nothing that this thing just, just kept on happening, happening. And the other time I was like, see, I just said, I know I have money, only I just want part of it. But eventually, that was just, but when I started growing up and, uh, yeah, I had like different banks, so I know that this bank, the, like my UBA, yeah, just lost money, yeah. nothing. It's only money only going in, or money is not coming out. So, but that's just that's just the way I do my saving. Tell us about your story. I have, I have, I think that you have money. Well, okay. So, growing up, I started saving from primary school. So, mine is I have this book, mm. and I wrote on it savings book. Yeah. So, <laughs> I ruled out the date, no, the date, the day, and the amount. So then growing from primary school, instead of using books, so I keep my money in the book. Oh. Instead of using books, I, then I moved to, you know these people that they do cards? They come to you, contribution, and and they do cards. So then I go to my mommy's shop. Mm -hmm. So every day, there's a particular amount you I take. from Peter and Paypal. <laughs> <laughs> I go to her shop and she'll, she'll tell me that every day I should take 200 naira. Mm -hmm. So in a month, I get 6,000 yeah. mm -hmm. So the day I did not go to shop, I don't have 200 or if you dash me money. So I might have moved ahead of the month because of the way I'm getting the money from school money, dash me money, so I was saving. That was when I entered secondary school. Then I initiated my friends too. I've always loved saving. Even to my serious time for saving, actually, when I took it seriously, was mm -hmm. service year. At the end of service, how much did you have in your account? And I'll ask this to everybody. Because okay. we, all, we all have, we all serve. So let's start our service. Okay. At the end of service, I had a hundred and twenty minus the one I invested out. I invested like a hundred out. Oh, so two twenty. Then I had a hundred and twenty saved. Wow. But wow. I later spent it though because <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I lost. Uh, also. I lost some money. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm a death to my day of service. Uh, this initially I was saving them. <laughs> initially, <laughs> so um, when we got that was around um, 2019, yes, so 2020 was Corona, yes, so I I withdrew most of them and I invested in, I bought some stocks in Trove and everything. Like during that corner, I think corner was like March now. So yeah. like I think the money that came in from March or April to I finished that was around September or October, I can't remember. The money's in my account. Also now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Titi. <laughs> Titi oh Titi Tai tell us how much are you able to say? <clears throat> so during my youth service, they're paying us uh, nineteen thousand, they're about. And, uh, <laughs> I wasn't able to save a lot. You know, when I was finishing, that was when the night increased it to about 33,000. It pained me. It pained me. <laughs> to go back and start my service again. No, 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 go back to like, you know, the increment was a lot, and at that time things were tough. So I can't say how much I saved <laughs> at the end of service here, but I know I invested it. In my business, that was how I was able to start my business. Was it also a hundred k? Yeah, rough. Start amount. Okay, so now we can start answering Chris's question, <laughs> which is how much? What was the highest money you lost? Ah, like put it when it comes to putting my money into only saving banks. Mm -hmm. Honestly, only saving banks. Banks don't only invest in all this. I do want, but I get my money back. Honestly, if I was to calculate, my total should be like one thousand naira. Yeah, come down. Let me see my my own, yeah. Hmm. So then when I was in school, I I really you know this ultimate cycler, MMM and the like. Yeah. The very points is basically that. Then I was man, I did them a lot. So there was one I didn't. as I woke up that morning, I woke up. You know, my friend just come say, please, ah, here's this website. This is just rest. Ah, it's like ah. I should say he said just just pay the nana and that. Ah. Oh, but I said ah, this this this. <laughs> And uh, the guys actually saw that actually gave me updates a lot. So then me just ah, then I just I first put fifty k then. So I put fifty k. Guy, the money has never come, but the guy was like, the guy put like a lot of money, and then they kept on still paying me. I'm not like, please, they are still paying you. No, I'm not like, they are still paying you guy. Then let's see you put more. I swear. And 
then also because in in an attempt to control the way I was spending, I do send some of my money to my younger brother to just hold it. Ah, that money I just I didn't have enough money in my account after that. Just call him. Oh no, he has sent me hundred kina. So he just sent me like gula. And then he sent it. I invested it. I was now I was now waiting. Okay. It's almost like, <laughs> So actually, the point was that the person they actually made someone to pay me. Actually, there was someone that read to, that was supposed to pay me, and I called the guy and he had to pay me. The guy say, "Are you sure this thing is working?" Hey, <laughs> I said, I said, I said, I said, yes. I just did my own hand. They are about pay, so they pay. If you pay, if you pay me, they pay you too. The guy said, the guy said, I'm not sure about this again. And oh, those, those side that time, there's no way if. My many accounts that I also invested, they didn't me imagine me doing it. So that's how I decided lost that money. Right. Have you finished calculating? Ah. So from what I can recall, mm-hmm. if you say total money I've lost, it's about 300 and. Woo. Wow. Yeah. Woo. So, well, I really do not like doing this Ponzi. So I had friends that were into Forex. So. And they've been doing it for a while, actually. So I know that that's where they get their money. I know. <clears throat> Sorry. So I had two friends. One has been my friend since 2013. Mm. So this was last year, around that service year. I really wanted to grow my money. I didn't want you to just money. leave it in my account. Yes, so and I'm like, OK, <laughs> these people have been doing forex. And then he started his own business. Mm. He is friends and all. So I'm like, OK, since I know this person, he can't carry my money and go anywhere. So I invested with him. I did, I think I did 50. I did with my colleague's brother. I did 100. Thinking, okay, it's my colleague. So this one is not far from there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway. So, <laughs> so I did 100 with that one. I did 50 with my friend. So, and I had this one too that I was, the same time, oh, no, wow. I just didn't want to leave my money in my you just go on in. So oh, shit. my mommy's sister, <laughs> she is in, she, she was doing this MBA for us. So she told me that uh, this person, she knows the person that connected her, she knows the person way back, and her money is there. I think she had a, a million there or something. She had a million or two there. And she was telling me that she has, she's getting her money monthly. You leave it for six months, and you're getting your, I think it was 20% or so, you're getting your money mm-hmm. monthly. Truth was that I got the profits. You yeah. know they get the profits. No, the, that, <laughs> that, that, forget the last, that, that last one. I got my profit once. <laughs> But this particular one got the profit from, I think it started in August. We got the profit from that August till time to pay the capital. Mm. Yeah, These so people, um, okay, it wasn't MBA. We did another one. But she, our husband was with MBA. Why she, she was in another one? So it was that one that was paying. Even when MBA had closed, mm. they were still paying. So there was this trust that mm. your money, your capital is coming. They paid the last money. The next month, so you had time to pay capital. They said they'll pay it a month after. Mm. Mm. Waited for a month after. They now said something happened, happened, happened. They would have to break the way they paid the money that CBN did want to, want to, want to. Okay. That's it to do. So that one was 100, 100 with that one. 100 with What happened to those people that you said you knew? That's what I'm saying now. So the other guy that I gave 50, the one I said I knew mm-hmm. himself, he's French. He's French. He <laughs> <laughs> went like running away with people's money. That's the story. That, that's, I mean, that's the story. His own money. Do you know, yeah. like, I, I can I can actually say for that one, because I think, <laughs> but no, forget, forget, because let's not talk about somebody else's life, because I know what he's going through now, because Ooh. of what After happened, him. how his own money, he, had, he was working, he was doing everything, and like, okay, since that, the business is growing, it's time mm. to, like, focus, let them be serious. His own friend, like, duped him, his car that he bought, that he bought, and the friend took the case. They're saying that well, the friend said people use jazz in this matter, safe. So, but now EFCC has held the guy, but EFCC has held the guy doesn't mean he'll get his money back. Now he's paying debts to people that, not everybody, but to some people that you just feel you can't let their money go like that. But I think that should, so, you know, if his friend could do pay, it's almost the same thing with what you did. You just said that same friend. So, so that, that's what I'm saying. That he, now I trusted you exactly. because I know you. His own friend. He now also knew his friend that you did. Yes, so it was his friend. Like that you did. So that kind of. All this conversation so, is just letting me know today. 
I'm going to go and call all my dentists. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I know we are friends. Yes, please be paid because you can run away at any time. You just see that your friend don't go abroad. Leave your money don't go. No, I'm like, what? He's agreeing with himself. From his own money, his own like people's uh, money. So if I carry that money I say, and, I, and I go I on vacation, it is better. Uh, it is better than somebody uh, chopping your money. Very you very work cool. finish for a whole month and then somebody will borrow money. At, that shit is annoying. I say, excuse my friend. Yeah, that's, not, that's, not, that's not go to borrowing. <laughs> can we just say no to Ponzi's? I beg. Yeah, I, I think that that's one thing we can Ponzi's agree on. Correct. Whatever name you call me, Some, as long as, long as you're, you don't know it, you're not doing yeah, it to yourself. Yeah. Somebody's, somebody has to do it for you. Forget yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, so let's just conclude. Savings or investment? Which one and why? Both. <laughs> I can't, I, for me it's both, I can't stick with one, I like to invest, so anything that you tell me that, okay. But you, no. from your lessons. For me now, there's nobody that, there's nobody that will tell me anything right now, and I'll just stop jump at it. So, okay. at least, if you say buying stocks, then I know that it's in my hands to decide when I want to sell, or when I want to leave it and watch it grow. So that one is man. Whatever that happens to it is in my hand and my decision. So it's either it works out or I lose some and I win some. So that one is my hand. It's not with anybody. So that one is different. So I and now that I know that there are better forms to invest, I won't do forex, crypto, this one. No, yeah. I'm not there. Yeah. Wait, no, that's because you can do it yourself. Yes, not that you no, give it to somebody. I, I, I know it works, but I can't do it myself. Forex yeah. works, yes, it works for some people because they can study and do it themselves. Yeah. But you can I can't trust my money again with exactly. anybody. So if I can't do it myself, then let's leave yeah. it. Yeah. There's nothing you tell me. So that's what that's I say both. I can invest if it's stock, buying of stock and I don't mind. I can do that. Yeah. Then and now we have loads yeah. and like lots of legitimate platforms. Yeah. Like I mean true finance that like is legit and you know that you are doing it yourself. yourself. Yeah. Go do your own research, come and buy the stock. So and is you. you and you will learn your lesson yourself. Yeah. I mean, yeah, so So for me like I said earlier, really, I'm not really that big on saving, like slowly really save yet. I mean, I do, I, I think, yeah, like, no, investments, so they're like, I group investment to it, and which, yeah, in general, we active and passive investment. So mm -hmm. I see my passive investment as a way of saving. So and then, so that passive investment, I, shall, I know that, okay, well, this money is at least growing, not just stagnant somewhere and not doing anything. Because, I mean, the idea of it, yeah. I have someone that I try stagnant, obviously, but at least it's not my exactly just there again. Yeah. But my whole this thing passively, and then my active investment like in crypto, why the passive one, just like in stocks. I buy some like Apple now. I know that Apple is a good stock, so they can't it can't really go down if it goes grad gradually. So uh, no, I I'm glad now. Everything that you have Apple, that, that's that's it. So yeah, I, at least I have an iPhone, and then I also have the stock. So. Yeah, that's how it works. I like that. And that's what Trump can do for you. You can invest in the things you use. Yes. Yeah, I love it. How about you, Tai Tai? Okay, um savings and investments. They work both they work for me. But okay, just recently that I said investing in stocks. I in I'm very when it comes to dropping money and how the baby gets returns after so, so, so i don't know how to do that mm. once you tell me it takes me months for you to convince me that's why it's when during the period of convincing that's when i hear something happens like that i'm like okay then, <laughs> that's you. why i didn't i didn't really lose money that's why i couldn't really see but wait wait plot two things probably the person was telling you told you about it maybe two months ago I mean, after two months, you had a bad news. Do you know that? Do you know how much person might have made? Mm. She doesn't mind. Exactly, as long as everybody is losing. It's not losing, it's better than risking the win exactly. and then losing. That risk, mm. Mm. that's me. I, I like to um, go to, like, do my own research. Okay, this is true. Let me see. Let me watch this. Um, this. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I, didn't, I haven't lost so much money outside yeah. there. And if I don't want to invest, you know, I like to put it into my business. Mm -hmm. And then of recent, you know, wow. investing in uh, stocks and, you know, I know that's my name and it's a long-term investment. Yeah. So I know that going forward, I have that mm -hmm. there. And yeah, for me, it works hand in hand for me, savings and investments. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I think Zambu, I mean, we all can agree that both are interesting. I mean, not just interesting, they are also like, it's good for you to, I mean, do both. Now it's in different ratios. Yeah. One has to be more than the other. And I think I agree that investing more. Mighty slopes to 10. <laughs> That's your own business. What's your own business? Okay, um, for investment, I would say 60. 60, 40. 40. Yeah. Tight, tight. <laughs> Zero, one. <laughs> <laughs> well, mm. what's up? 50, 50. You work, yeah. Like I said, you work. They, they have 50, their own. 50 is you know, inside that's Some people say that means it's for endowment. That other 50. <laughs> it means 50. Endowment. That's it. Endowment. Endowment means it's for endowment. I'm not kidding myself. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Okay. For me, I, I've never even thought about it. But now that I'm thinking about it, so investment, like I said, is in different ways. Mm -hmm. So, like for instance, me, I invest, of course, normal stocks because that one has become a culture for most of us here. Investing in stock has become a culture, mm -hmm. and then invest in yourself, mm -hmm. like that. That can never, and I think that that's something a lot of people don't know. Now, investing in yourself doesn't mean you blow it up. Yeah. So there's a difference in investing in yourself. Like, okay, you know what? I want to study this course because in the long run, this is going yeah, to help yeah, my right. career. You're investing in yourself. That is fine. It's not going to count now, but it's count later. So I think I try my best to invest in myself. Okay, invest in your lifestyle. Really, really, really. I try, I try, but you guys know I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm a gentle girl. You're slave. You're slave. You're slave. I break it down, but I don't follow it. You know, it's a, it's like you say, oh, ten k for food, ten k for outing, then you end up spending eighteen k for outing and two k. But at least it's still within the budget. So anyhow, you want to scatter it. No problem. But when I go to my budget, I will feel it. Man, Thank you for man, 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 Thank you. Man, they break yeah. budget. I'll cook from home. I think that's one way we also like say when you bring food from home yeah. so that you don't have to like buy lunch all the time. Those are the little things that you do. Yeah, so I mean, is there anything you'd like to add? Because I think we have covered most of it. Yeah. So one last thing. Now that we have established that it is important to put water before Gary, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So if you want to share your IG handle, you can. But if not, we can. My IG handle is incredulous with underscore three underscores in front. Yeah. Do you wanna? You? My Instagram name is T T That is T double E. T double L O P E double H. Oh, okay, please, like, I, I didn't, I didn't scare my, I, I didn't scare my, my, my IG page is Adia Jesse. So, okay, and I still remain your favorite host for the most, you know. I'm just playing. You know, you know the IG. I <laughs> My IG handle is queen, queen underscore Kamba, K-A-M-B-A, and then there's a warning. All right, guys, thank you for staying with us from the beginning to the very end. I'll see you on the next episode. I promise it to be as interesting, if not more. Thank you, and take care. Bye. Thank you.